Hallie Perrin used to feel claustrophobic sleeping in her dorm freshman year. Living within what she called jail-like walls, Perrin did not enjoy her experience in Sam May Hall at Central Connecticut State University. Waiting in line with the rest of her neighbors to do laundry and walking all the way down the hall to use the bathroom that the whole floor shared did not make for a luxurious resident life. That's why she decided to pay $1,000 more to live in CCSU's newest dorm, Mid-Campus Hall. Being here, I am much more satisfied than I was at Sam May because of all the room we get. In my suite, I have two rooms, one for me and my roommate, and then the other for my other two roommates. We also share a living room, one shower room, one bathroom, and then a sink area with two sinks so that we don't have to fight over who's over the sink using what. And with that, there I feel we have much more space compared to Sam May. With multiple rooms within a suite to provide more storage and being allowed to choose who you live with, Perrin said living in mid-campus increased her happiness while staying on campus. With more amenities and accommodations being provided, the more expensive dorms seemed worth it. Thomas Hale, a current resident advisor in James Hall, said that when students pay more, they're paying for better quality. It's worth paying extra for. Um, it's something that a lot of people strive for. They want to have that their own room to be able to study and do kind of what they want with it um, without having someone else's opinion brought in. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's something that everyone kind of really strives for and it's definitely worth it. Mike Jasek, the university's vice president of student affairs, said that student requests to improve resident life are received about one to two times a week. These requests are looked into if they show to be necessary or are in high demand from the students. Action to improve upon resident life at CCSU shows in the campus expansion of recreation centers and activities over the passing years, according to CCSU's Chief Financial Officer, Charlene Casamento. The addition of Hilltop and the new eSports Center gained fast popularity amongst commuters and residents alike, and now CCSU is building a new recreation center up the hill. Casamento said that the $25.4 million building is being funded by the state and the university approved approximately $814,000 in operating funds. Hale said that he thinks CCSU is heading in the right direction for making living on campus more appealing, but that they now have to continue on that path. They're going in the right direction, but they need to keep going in the right direction. There needs to be a reason for us to stay on campus, a reason for us to pay for the rooms, and a reason for us to want to be on campus. It's mainly a commuter school. A lot of people commute. Why do we want to live